everyone, welcome to um, Bring It to Life with Gail Craft Fair Series number two. When I think about springtime, I think about gardens and everybody planting flowers and all that. So I decided to do a little quick and easy project. You guys, this is so easy and so quick, you won't believe your eyes. Um, on Pinterest and different uh, websites, you might want to look. And some of these I have copyrights on them, so you got to be careful. And I went ahead and printed out all of these um, different little seed package ideas. And then what I did is, um, you're going to need some of these sticks that you get at your Home Depot. They're just like uh, court paint stirs, but they're perfect for this project. And then you're going to need some little Velcro uh, dots where you can buy these at your local Dollar Tree. They sell them at Walmart, but Dollar Tree are only a dollar and they work. And then you're going to cut out your little squares and you're going to laminate. Um, I actually went somewhere to have mine laminated because I don't have a laminator, but I will be investing in one of those, that's for sure. And this is super easy. So you print out, cut out, laminate, buy your sticks, Velcro, put them together. And uh, what I do is I just grab two of the dots and make sure that they're going to be opposite because one is soft and one has these little you hear that these little teeth on them so they can grab and you put it upside down with the sticky up so that way when you bring in your stick you're just going to put it on top push hard and there you have it you just put it like that and I'm making, uh, I'm going to do a set of eight, so I'm doing lettuce, carrots, onion, radishes, beans, cucumbers, and peas, and tomatoes. Is that right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. So, and I'm just putting them together like this. How cute is that? And you just put them in the ground. Now, you can either make a bunch of these and sell them individually. You just get yourself a nice um, terracotta pot, and you just put them all in there so people can pick the ones that they want you know you might want multiple of one or you can do what I'm doing and you just super easy you guys turn this around one dot two dots here we're just going to do them all together and they're super easy to do how fun is this um because I printed these out and the sticks were not that expensive I'm thinking a pack of eight I'm gonna sell for two dollars um, it is definitely that time of the year for gardening so if you're doing a fall I mean a springtime show I would definitely get these together now um, these are still okay for fall time because some people might be thinking about what they want to do in the spring but what a great uh, put together if you have like gardening gloves and little things to work in the garden and you gather them all up in a basket and you can sell that for a holiday gift or a birthday gift or any kind of gift but I think these depending on who you're giving them to and what you're doing with them it could be something that you sell all year round okay and two more sticks and in there there are it's a 30 pack and I think it's like 99 cents it's very inexpensive and you just like this push hard and there you have it I have all of my laminated little sticks so look how cute that is all right so next I'm going to show you how I'm planning on packaging this because I want I don't want to put it in a bag because I want people to be able to go like this oh, that one came off I want people to be able to look at them so let me gather this together and I can show you I've only started doing this because I won't be doing a show until October but I am gonna get these together but I really wanted to get my craft uh, fair series 2018 springtime up so I wanted to make these and show you guys for those of you that are attending a show pretty soon these are super easy you can do this overnight and have 10 20 of them made up in no time so let me go ahead and wrap this up together and I'll show you how I will Okay, so I'm just going to use some of this twine or jilt or whatever you want to call it. And you want to cut a nice piece so you can go around the bottom a few times. So you're going to cut it. 
and you want to kind of put a nice colorful one on top you want to attract the eye to these other little items okay and you're going to leave yourself some space here for some for a bow and you just going to go around just a few times make a nice little you know, the first time I did this it was so cute okay see how I did that right there and then you just want to do a little bow okay And then you can keep this little piece that you cut off if you cut one off put it inside underneath and I want to show you why I'm going to use this um, leftover uh, paper from yesterday and I'm just going to do a nice little like that then I'm going to use my crocodile and just going to make a little hole at the top It'd be better if I would have this on the right setting, huh? Okay, maybe not today. All right, I can't get my crocodile to work. Okay. Okay. Has a little hole in there, but not even close to being big enough. Anyways, you get the concept, and then you just put a little tag. I'm actually going to get some printed out that says, uh, garden stakes and put it on here and I'm gonna put the price so how cute is this so simple so easy and see how what I this is kind of what the concept I want them to be able to look at the ones that are in here and like I said if you decide to do these individ individually I would put them in a big um, terracotta pot probably not dirt maybe some foam at the bottom so you don't get your bottoms dirty and I would just price it maybe at 50 cents a piece what do you all think so this is my number two craft fair series 2018 springtime and remember guys I bring things home I bring it with love and I bring it to life thank you so much for watching please like comment share and subscribe and I will see you next time happy crafting have a great day thanks for watching